Hi guys, this is Shankho here and welcome to Smart Bengali. So I was looking for a decent UPS that is uninterruptible power supply for my home PC and I purchased this APC 600C IN UPS. Although there were some cheaper options available in the market like Microtech, Vigard, CyberPower etc. But still I went for this APC UPS because I have a pretty long time experience with APC UPS devices and I am using their products on my other systems. So it's kind of a trusted brand for me. So before moving on to the unboxing, I need to talk about one more thing. Often I get asked these questions related to UPS devices like how do I properly size my UPS, what's the difference between online and line interactive UPS, do I really need an UPS? So if I start discussing all of these questions in this video, this video would be very long, which is not the purpose of this video. So I'll make a different video to address all of those questions related to UPS. But for now I will tell you how to find the right capacity for your UPS. First you need to calculate the total power consumption of your system including your monitor. Cause you know without monitor you won't be able to operate your PC. You can manually calculate this power consumption of your system by finding the power requirements of each components and adding them together. But there's a better way. You can take help from various websites like OuterVision.com or Newegg Power Calculator. Personally I prefer OuterVision. In this websites, all you need to do just add all of your components one by one and then click on calculate. You'll get the total power consumption of your PC. Now after this calculation, you know the total power requirements of your system. Remember this is the maximum power consumption of your system at peak load. In idle state or light usage time, this consumption will be much lower than the calculated value. But still you need to add some headroom for safety. For example, for this particular PC, the power consumption is showing 321 watt. Now I'll add 30 watt more for safety. Now after adding 30 watt, my estimated power requirement would be 350 watt approximately. So I need an UPS which can power a 350 watt system. But the UPS devices are rated with VA ratings. Now what is this VA rating? How to convert VA to watt? VA stands for volt ampere. Volt amps are called the apparent power and it is the product of the voltage applied to the equipment times the current drawn by the equipment. On the other hand, the power in watts is the real power drawn by the equipment. The ratio of the watt to VA rating is called the power factor and it is expressed either as a number, for example 0.6 or a percentage that is 60%. Now this power factor is really important for us to calculate the watt rating from the VA rating. Watt rating is approximately 60% of the VA rating for small UPS systems. This being the typical power factor of a common personal computer loads. For larger UPS system, the watt and VA ratings are almost similar. Now if you ask me why this is different for a larger UPS system, well that question requires a very long answer. I'll discuss about it in my UPS buying guide video. I've already digressed from my original topic. Let's get back to this UPS. So this UPS has a maximum load limit of 600 VA. Now our power factor is 60% that is 0.6. Now we need to multiply this VA rating to the power factor. So 600 times 0.6 would be. 360 watt. So this UPS is capable of 360 watt load. Remember I had calculated my estimated requirement 350 watt. So this 600 VA UPS would be enough for me. Now let me tell you the steps once again. First you need to calculate the power requirement of your system. Then you need to divide the watt value by 0.6 to get your required VA ratings. Alternatively you can multiply the VA ratings of an UPS with a power factor of 0.6 to get the maximum load of the UPS in watts. Then choose your UPS devices accordingly. No worries, it's very easy. All you need to do to find the power factor of that particular UPS. So that's all about the calculation of UPS size. Let's start the unboxing. So this is our UPS. I purchased this from Amazon. It has been shipped like this. No cardboard box, no bubble wrappings, nothing. Just like this. Let's open the plastic wrappings. This is the invoice. The price mentioned here is 3375 but I purchased it at 2600 rupees from Amazon. You'll get this UPS from local shops from 2500 to 2600 rupees. Let's check the box. Let me get rid of these straps.
so APC logo here. APC is American Power Conversion Corporation. Snyder Electric is their parent company and this is the model name B600CIN. They have different model for different countries. This lineup name is back UPS and, and it is a line interactive UPS. That means it runs from the battery only when the main AC power is absent. They have showcased their salient features here. Battery saver, surge protection, automatic voltage regulation. This is 600V UPS so it provides 360 watt at max load. It takes 4 to 6 hours to recharge, comes with 2 years warranty including the battery and generally it's very quiet. I mean they are claiming these features. Obviously I have to test it out. On top of the box they have given a chart which gives an idea about the runtime at different loads. They have divided it into two categories, battery saver mode on and the battery saver mode off. Let's have a closer look. For home PC with 19 inch monitor, you'll get around 14 minutes with battery saver off and 7 minutes with on. For performance PC with 22 inch monitor, 9 minutes with battery saver on and 4 minutes with battery saver off. So if you have a gaming PC, you need 1.1 kV instead of 600 VA. Otherwise, you'll get very less battery backup. So what do we have on this side? Some basic safety symbols, some images and the shipping level. Let's check the back side of the box. This side is slightly damaged. It has a big scar. Hopefully the product is okay. So you can use this UPS for your PC, PlayStation, router, television. Basically every electrical appliance is supported. They have highlighted few features here. This UPS can be used with generators and inverters. It has automatic overload protection. This cold start feature helps you to start the UPS with AC main power. It comes with battery saver mode. If you turn this on, you will get less battery backup but it may extend the overall battery life. Another good thing is this surge protection. This feature can save your electrical components from high power surge. So you don't need a separate power surge protector. And finally it has automatic voltage protection. It means this UPS can increase the low voltage and decrease the high voltage as per the requirement. So these were the highlighted features and I will explain about these features in details in my full review video. Now this site contains the serial number sticker, part number information and the UPC code. It is a made in India product which is a great thing but I think the battery has been made in either in China or Taiwan. Here we have the manufacturer details, Snyder Electric IT Business India Private Limited. They have their head office in Bangalore. Manufacturing month is June 2019. This is quite important for an UPS because if you purchase an UPS with long shelf life, definitely it will affect the performance. We have another shipping label here. Enough about the features. Let me cut the seal and open the box. Recycle your battery. If this product isn't working well, you need to contact their customer care service first. Don't send the product to them. Okay, this is quite heavy, around 5.4 kilograms. I need to turn it upside down so that I can open it without making any damage. Okay, we have nothing else inside the box except this thermocol protection. It is packed like this. We have the product registration form here. You don't need to fill it up and send it to APC. The serial number and the purchase invoice is enough to claim warranty. They have also added some safety tips here. This is the power cord. Let me untangle this. So this is the standard European plug.
It's quite heavy, you can see the quality. Probably it contains a fuse inside it. The wire quality is very good, it has thick coatings. Fortunately, they have provided round pin plug because many PC component manufacturers provide flat pin plugs. In such cases, you need a universal converter like this. Let's have a closer look on the main product. I need to get rid of this plastic. So this is the UPS. Let's start from the top. The customer service number is written here and a caution message. It tells us to turn off the UPS when not in use. The entire UPS housing is made of plastic. It's not very sturdy but it also doesn't look like cheap material. We have two air vents on this side, one at the top, another one at the bottom. These vents keep your UPS cool so do not obstruct it. It's a heavy product. The weight is around 5.2 kg and fortunately I don't hear anything moving inside it. Actually this is a replacement UPS. At the first time Amazon sent me a defective item, probably it was damaged in transit. But this time it seems that everything is okay. So we have two buttons on the front, back UPS 600 written here. Actually it has a protective plastic over it. So this is the power on off button and the battery saver button. We have a tiny battery indicator here. The green means charging, off means fully charged and red means it's time to replace the battery. The front panel has a very smooth black texture and the FEC branding at the bottom. Probably this is the best looking UPS in this price segment but look is the last thing you need to consider while purchasing an UPS. Now we have two similar vents on this side too so that the cool air can pass through. Ok let's check the most important thing the power outlets. The back side contains three power outlets. Let me have a closer look. Ok all of the sockets have battery backup and as well as surge protection. Which is great cause most GPS devices at this budget contains only two surge protection socket. But this one has three. Unfortunately these sockets are not universal sockets. So if you would like to use a flat pin plug like Corsair PSU plug. You have to use a universal socket like this. Also I don't think you can use three large socket at the same time cause this area is really congested. Another warning level here and a small vent. This is the power cut connection joint. So that was all about the exterior and the features of this UPS. And I forgot to show you this is the quality test receipt. So let me turn it on for the first time. I'm gonna connect this plug to a AC power outlet. Okay, the green indicator is glowing. It means currently it is in charging state. This is the expected behavior for the first time uses. Now I don't have a PC with me right now. So I'm gonna test a bulb with this UPS. Let me turn this on. I have turned on the power source. Now let me press the power button. As you can see the bulb is glowing. Currently it is powered by the AC main power. Now I'm gonna cut off the AC main power and try to run this bulb directly from the battery. So just now I've turned on the main power. Currently the bulb is running from the battery. That means our UPS is working fine. Let me show you the power plug. You can see I have disconnected the power plug and the bulb is illuminated from the battery. So that was my test and unboxing of APC 600 VA UPS. 
don't worry this is the overview video let me use it for a month and then i'll make a full detailed review video with my personal thoughts on this product so guys if you're new to my channel please subscribe to my channel to get more contents like this i won't disappoint you so like this video share this video to your friends who needs to know about this ups you can comment your questions in the comment section i'm signing off now see you in my next video thank you